Hey, look at you, man. Let me. I love your smile. You brighten up any room when you walk in there. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that smile. Got your email. Brothers here is going to read it to everybody. Maybe we can help a few more ladies out there. Shut up! Fuck out the way! What's up, lady? <clears throat> Got this email. So I'm gonna get close. So y'all can hear what I'm saying. <clears throat> Recently, I started eating clean and lost five pounds for the first week, but only a pound a second week. The third week was a disaster and I'm an emotional eater and I think that one pound loss the second week discouraged me so it was hard to say no to the fattening food, so. Say fuck it, yeah. I'm eating shit. Yeah, this one week, this damn one pound a week, this is some bullshit. I want some, I want some protein, some carbs, some super sugars, what ain't for the fuck? <laughs> okay. I'm hungry. Look here. Now, the first week felt like the fat was melting off each day, but I didn't feel like that at all on the second week. Plus, I felt bloated. My diet consists of eggs, chicken, fish, veggies, fruit, beans, nuts, seeds, and oatmeal. Now, I was coating my fish with yellow cornmeal and frying it in olive oil. Is that bad? Kevin said you can fry your meat. <laughs> we'll get to that. Also, how do I know how much fat, carbs, and proteins I need each day? And does my fat requirement include what naturally in my protein sources and macros? Can you please explain that? Please help. Well, you got two questions. Let me tell you something. If you well, she lose... got about four or five questions because she's asking about macros. And... Yeah, when you when you cutting your calories and you're trying to lose weight, yeah, you can have a meal where you're frying the shit in fucking olive oil and uh. <laughs> Dipping that bitch in a uh, <laughs> yellow cornmeal, but that's so many calories that your body doesn't need. Yeah, it's the not going to be filling. Fat, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to lose weight and you, you're cutting your calories, you don't want to be in a diet where you're hungry all the time. When you're eating foods that's high in calories and it doesn't fill you up as much, yeah, you can be hungry all the time. You need to eat foods where it's low in calories and it fills you up. Those foods are foods that are not fried. Like yeah. you eat lean meats, proteins. Yeah. Okay. Like start grilling all your meats. Start grilling all your meats. If you don't like a, a great tool to use when you're uh, trying to clean, you know, trying to knock out the fat out of your diet, one of those uh, George Foreman grill machines. If you don't have like a grill outside that you can use yeah. or grill on your oven, use that George Foreman grill. That thing, yeah. it, they're not expensive. Yeah, the way you prepared that, that meal right there with the cornmeal and the uh, frying, you added 400 calories to that one item that's on your plate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you would have grilled it, you could eat five pieces of that damn meat that you was eating. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and another thing, she was asking about the macros. Like, your macros, you can give or take. You can play with them a little bit, but the best macros, in, in our opinion, when you're trying to lose weight, is uh, about 40% protein, about 40% about carbs, about 20% fats. Yeah. So if your protein, your carbs is virtually the same, you got the same amount of protein and the same amount of carbs... And then keep your fats to about 20% of, of your entire plate. Yeah. Then basically, you know, th th those are the macros you you will want to try to hit every yeah. day. Now, if your cro uh, if your proteins and carbs and fats don't line up with that, yeah. so long as you had a caloric deficit, that's yeah. the main thing. Yeah. But I would try to keep my macros split up that way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you like one day 40% uh, protein, 50% carbs, 10% fats. You know, that's okay. They can fluctuate. It doesn't have to be exact. Yeah. As close as possible to 40, 40, and 20. Yeah, I, I would suggest that. But yeah. focus on your calories. Yeah. Okay, the, don't. But another thing, the reason why you fucking hungry all the time, you're probably eating a lot of foods that's, like I said, it's not filling, mm -hmm. and um, they're high in calories. Like the peanuts. Cut. Didn't she say she ate peanuts? Or that's, well, seeds, seeds. Now, see, peanuts are great, yeah. very healthy food, but they're high in fat. So yeah, they're high in calories. They're yeah, high in calories. You yeah. can eat a handful of nuts and got 300 calories like that, and that shit didn't fill you up for nothing. Like you eat something that's high in sugar, 
Yeah. Like, don't drink your calories. Don't go as, oh, nice, freshy glass of orange juice. This shit is healthy as hell. I'm going to drink all this shit and swallow <laughs> like 16 ounces of that. You just swallowed 400 calories. Yeah. That's not going to fill you up. Yeah. Don't drink your calories. Don't eat foods that's high in fat. Yeah. Right? And you'll and eat all the other kind of foods, and it'll keep you full. Yeah. No and sure. all your only... This is what when you when it comes to eating, make sure your proteins are lean, they're not high in fat. Yeah. Make sure your carbs are, are are good complex carbohydrates, not like sugars, simple sugars a like sugar. syrup, honey, table sugar, fucking you know, that type of carb, man. Yeah. Be like a sweet potato, a potato, you or know rice. Rice. Stuff like that. Something that's filling. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Nothing that's got a lot of sugar and it's got a lot of fat in it. It's not going to fill you up and you're going to be sitting at a thousand calories before you know it. Yeah, and you, know you got to look at how you're preparing your foods too. Yeah. You can take a lean protein, throw it in a bunch of fucking fat and fry that bitch. It's going to be a lot more calories because of the fat content. Same way with your rice if you decide to eat rice. Yeah. You got to look at how you're preparing it. Too. Yeah, So, but count all your calories regardless of the source. Yeah. Okay? And eat foods that's filling, right? You know what I'm saying? Don't eat foods that's not filling and high in calories. Then you're going to feel hungry all the time, and you're going you're gonna to do exactly what you did. You're going to say, screw it. I don't give a damn. It's over. Yeah. You know what to I'm make saying? things simple, if you cut back on your fat intake, and if you're at a caloric deficit at the end of the day, you're going to lose weight. Yeah, don't drink your calories. Yeah. You know, what I'm Cut back on your sugar intake. Cut yeah. back on your fat. Don't fry all your foods that's... It's yeah. too many calories you're throwing in there for nothing. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, keep sticking with you looking real nice. You looking real nice. Yeah. Just cut back on them fats, them peanuts, them seeds. Seeds got a whole bunch of calories in them. Whole bag of seeds, man, about two meals in them bitches. I'm going to let you go now. I, gotta, I, got, I got stuff I got to do. Don't wait up for me. Don't wait up. I got some I got some stuff I'm gonna take care of tonight.